Hey guys, coming at you from the shop today to tell you about this new 40 spline, 14 bolt spindle that we've been working on. So the main big benefit of this dude right here is it will take a 40 spline axle shaft for your 14 bolt build. The little factory 14 bolt spindle, well, it's limited to the 30 spline axle shaft. Also, this spindle really necks down and the heat treat on it isn't too great. So when we were designing this spindle, we kept the neck out bigger, let us put a bigger ID bore in it. We actually added 250 thousandths to the diameter opposed to the factory one. Then we thickened up the wall thickness about 50 thou over the factory one, ending up with a lot stronger spindle to resist the bending that a lot of guys were seeing with a factory 14 bolt rear spindle. Also, we added a lot more length to the backside of the spindle. When you're taking out a factory 14 bolt spindle, you're only really left with this small area right here that you can salvage from a factory tube that'll go inside a new rear housing and you can weld. This one, we added a big long land to it and we actually upped the OD to three inch diameter out here. Now, we can take this and turn this down to fit in any size housing that's smaller than that three inch ID on the housing, three inch OD here. So we added that, but that extra length lets us really get a good weld surface and have a place to rosette weld it. And it gives it more of a backbone, say, whenever you slide it in the housing that it'll, it'll really just grab on and stay in there. So with doing that, we developed our own spindle nut that matches the thread on the spindle. You can see it's got grooves on the outside and then it's got grooves on the inside. Grooves on the outside line up with our socket that we developed. So the grooves on the inside, you tighten up the nut to set the preload, then line those up with the keyway on the spindle and a roll pin drops in. Holding everything tight, it's just a sure lock that this spindle nut will never back off. Then you install a snap ring to hold that roll pin in place. It'll never back out. So we have a socket. We had to develop a socket because we're only working with a small amount of space in the 14 bolt wheel hub. We made this as big as possible and uh, to fit the nut to make sure that we had plenty of meat on the outside of the threads. So it, uh, it just backed us into developing our own spindle socket, but we've got it now. It's all heat treated, just like the spindle and everything else is. So when you buy the spindle, you're gonna get a spindle, the nut, the keeper, and the snap ring. All this comes in a kit and it does come in pairs. The socket you will need, it's sold separate and they are sold as singles for sure. So then we'll move down. We've got the seal, we've got the seal, the inner bearing, the custom outer bearing, the spacer, and a snap ring. The reason you need a spacer is because whenever you put in the race, the cage of the bearing actually sets out the side of that race. So you need this little spacer to hold the snap ring off of that. Everything's here. It comes all complete. You buy that as a set uh, to do both sides. So whenever you're looking online to piece it together for your kit, you'll want the spindles and then a bearing kit. We've got a deal where you can send in your 14 bolt hubs. We'll bore them. There's actually two different lengths of spindles on a 14 bolt. We've made this spindle work with either one of those hub offsets. So send in your hubs. We'll bore that hub um, and fit it for the new bearings and snap ring grooves. Or we will have hubs that are bored, shot peened, everything ready to go on the shelf for, for sale just that you can buy right off the website as well. If we're building a rear end that's in a roller kit or a full turnkey rear end, we will send you guys a drawing um, of widths and everything else. You'll tell us what you need. We'll approve it, then we can get the build done. So everything is online. Check it all out. Um, look in our roller kits. Look in our just the spindles as raw parts. We've got them as full turnkey axles down to just a roller with the uh, Retubed housing, spindles welded in, everything else. All that's on craneaxle.com. If you like these kind of videos, follow us 
and then hit the subscribe button. And we'll keep more content coming to you.